Corporations recognize that e-learning needs to be part of their overall learning strategy. But what does it take to create effective, engaging, and educational e-learning? And does it really work? Tom, when an organization is planning an e-learning initiative, what are some of the major considerations? Yeah, pl planning is critical for effective e-learning. Um, there are a lot of e-learning programs that get developed that um, don't meet a specific need or they're, not, they're just not quite on, on target. And uh, in our experience, a, a needs assessment up front of some form is critical because it has to fit with the organization's learning strategy. It has to meet the unique need that you're, problem that you're trying to solve. So in, in our experience with most of the customers that we work with, uh, we always recommend and sometimes help with um, conducting a needs assessment and getting the organization ready to receive uh, an e-learning program. And I'm sure Paul and Liz have uh, specific examples of how that worked in their organizations. Paul, what would you add? Uh, we've used e-learning as a prerequisite to classroom training and, and also used it as a refresher after the classroom portion. So we've had tremendous support from our leadership uh, for the use of e-learning and it, and it really does fit with our overall uh, training strategy. Certainly consideration for organizations is the updating of content on a regular or yearly basis. And our organization, for example, policies and priorities change often. And uh, so we, we found that a proactive strategy of updating uh, e-learnings is the best approach. Liz, any thoughts to add? I'm glad that you mentioned that, Paul, because updating content was an important consideration for us as well. The application that we're teaching gets updated about two, three times a year. Sometimes they're small, but sometimes we would need to change the actual e-module to have it adapt. The other thing you mentioned was infrastructure and how important it is to have that infrastructure and to engage everyone in the organization from the top down. I'd love to hear more about your current successes and future plans. Liz, what's next for e-learning at your organization? Well, at Bridgepoint Active Healthcare, we work with very complex patients with multiple illnesses. So we're looking at e-learning to help interprofessional teams work together with that complexity, with some independent e-learning that's more or less conventional modules with interactivity, and then using an e-learning platform for them to come together and finally to interact face-to-face. -face. It's very exciting. And Paul, what about you? Right now is an exciting time in our ministry. Uh, we've identified some key priorities and training that will be provincially provided in mass to thousands of staff over the coming years. E-learning is definitely the future, and working with a plan and purposeful learning strategy can effectively provide staff with quality training experience. And Tom, looking forward, what are some of the ways that e-learning techniques are going to continue to evolve, and how is that going to affect how organizations train their employees? E-learning is changing pretty significantly right now, and that's driven by a couple of things. One is just the nature of, of work is changing. You know, we're shifting from routine, more um, manual work to knowledge work, and as a result, uh, technologies are changing in the organizations as well. You know, we're seeing the introduction of social learning and social networking tools and social platforms inside organizations. There's a shift with all of that to more informal approaches to learning where people learn as much from each other um, as they do from structured e-learning or classroom programs. So that's all resulting in things like um, mobile learning, uh, where e-learning is distributed through mobile devices. Um, social learning, where people, as I mentioned, are learning as much from each other um, and creating their own knowledge and best practices that they for example, even upload into communities of practice, as an example, and share what they've learned with other people. So there's more people learning from each other through technology as they are through formal e-learning provided by the organization through e-learning. Um, there's also a real trend towards uh, gamification in e-learning. So bringing game structures and what uh, is out there in the marketplace in terms of um, actual game playing, trying to bring that into the organization and bring more engagement to e-learning programs. So all of these things um, combined with blended learning are really changing the face of e-learning and I think that's going to be the future for most organizations. Learn more about e-learning strategy and development with the Global Knowledge Webinar when e-learning fails, five classic mistakes and how to avoid them.